even just with my outfit right now. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Welcome back to the Be Joan Style Styling Studio. I'm so excited. Today's video is gonna be a blast. We're doing thrifting the runway. We're thrifting, we're bringing it back to the studio and we're styling it up. And we are in November, so I wanted to let you know that I am partnering up with Whatnot again this month to do another incredible sale. If you haven't participated in Whatnot yet, Whatnot is a 24 seven live auction app. So there are sellers on Whatnot 24 seven selling vintage collectibles, amazing finds, and you can tune in and follow these sellers and participate in live auction sales. It's so much fun. I've been doing it for the last few months. And honestly, this is my new favorite way to buy and to sell. I love that everyone can tune in at the same time. We're hanging out live. You can comment, we can chat, and then I can actually show you the items live and you get to bid on them. The bids start anywhere from $5 up to about 20. And then it's just a matter of who wants it and how much do they want to spend on it. And it's so much fun to see what you all love and what you end up buying. And then I've even received DMs from a few of you letting me know just the item that you got and how you're styling it, which is one of my favorite things. I've also participated in my own whatnot sales where I've tuned in to the live auction sale. And let me just tell you the bidding war or the bidding high is a blast. I got so excited about these pair of YSL leather gloves from the 80s that Mel from Hall of Wonders was selling and I just was hitting that bid 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 button until I won them and I was so pumped to get them and it just felt like I'd done the work to get them which I just think is the fun of the auction. It's just that adrenaline rush as you're bidding. So to join in on my whatnot sale and just get on whatnot, click the link down below. You're going to be taken to the whatnot website or to the app and you will get $15 off automatically your very first purchase on the whatnot app. Make sure to find B. Jones Style there on whatnot and start following me. And also once my sale is on my page, make sure to bookmark it so you'll receive a notification on your phone that my sale is live. And we're gonna do this at the end of the month. On November 30th, I'm hosting my next whatnot sale and I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time. I got some feedback from some of you that it was really hard to do during the day because if you're at work, you can't you know, leave that for a live auction sale. So I'm gonna host it at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that way, hopefully you're home, you can actually put the sale on and tune in and we'll just get a whole vintage loving party happening. So just one more time, just make sure you click the link down below in my description. That's gonna give you $15 off immediately for your first purchase and just you'll get signed up and all locked in with whatnot and then tune in on november 30th at 6 p.m pacific standard time 9 p.m eastern standard time and i will see you there also the week before you will get a video here on my youtube channel on a tuesday giving you a preview of the entire collection so that way you know the items that are going to be in the sale you can kind of make notes of the items that you want and that you want to bid on so i will see you on the whatnot sale on november 30th all right let's hop into the fun this month we have been talking about this idea of the new york state of mind i'm headed to new york gosh for me in about a week in about a week that's crazy and so I've been really kind of letting New York be the inspiration this entire month for me because I'm just thinking about it a lot of thinking about what I'm gonna wear and so I thought it would be fun to do a whole thrifting video and I'm taking it back old school to some of the videos that I used to do back in the day called thrifting the runway where I chose different designers and I went to the thrift store and then tried to kind of recreate outfits inspired by the collection or the particular show or the designers themselves Themselves. So this time around, I'm actually going to give you three designers. I chose to do three New York designers, really classic, amazing New York designers. And I am going to the thrift store, thrifting items that feel like they go within 
that collection or that inspiration and then today we're back in the studio and I'm gonna style up those thrifted finds. But first let's talk about the designers that I chose. I started off with classic Donna Karen. Donna Karen, DKNY, the most New York designer that I could think of. And I went back to a lot of the archives of Donna Karen's collections and definitely it's very chic it's 80s, 90s businesswoman, super classic, really great tailoring, just fabulous luxury women power dressing. I loved it so much. Lots of black and white, lots of kind of browns and creams. It's funny because in some way it feels a little bit like one of the other designers I'm going to tell you about in a second, but there's something a little more feminine and chic about Donna Karen's collections. Whenever I find Donna Karen's pieces in general when I'm thrifting or in vintage stores, I get so excited. I just always think they're so timeless. And that's, I think, what her whole vibe is, her whole collection is all about. And so I'm heading to the thrift store with Donna Karen in mind. I really just looked for a lot of the kind of chic essentials that could give off that Donna Karen look. I couldn't do New York designers without choosing Ralph Lauren. Just so classic and always inspiring to me. And I love the variation that's in with Ralph Lauren. There's really classic, there's kind of the black and white tuxedo dressing, there's the rugged and you feel like you maybe were in a Jeep on a safari. You could be in the West. You could be also in the country. I feel like the whole Ralph Lauren country. And then you could also be in the Hamptons. So I feel like Ralph Lauren is like classic, but across the world. And I really love that about all of the collections that he's produced. And I, you may remember if you've tuned into this channel for a really long time, I went with my friend Chelsea, who's an incredible stylist to the thrift store. And we did thrifting the runway and we both chose different designers. She chose the Ralph Lauren collection from 2018, which was um, like their anniversary heritage collection where they really kind of celebrated all the different years of all the different designs. And I remember just being so inspired by that. So I actually went back to that collection and let that be my guide for heading into the thrift store. So it's a lot of just leather, denim, chinos, chunky knit sweaters, polo shirts, rugby shirts, just all the classics. Then there's like elements of Western belts and Western in general. So that was my inspiration for Ralph Lauren and I found some goodies. You're gonna have to tune in in a few minutes. And then my final designer is Tory Burch. I feel like Tory Burch embodies New York chic to its fullest. And the collection that I actually chose to be inspired by was her fall 2022 collection, which in general, that entire collection was inspired by New York. And they even did the runway show right in Midtown Manhattan with the red lights of the New Yorker Hotel shining down on the models. So I just felt like that really embodied New York. This collection, is really fun to me. There seems to be like 90s minimalism with like an artistic flair with pops of interesting color in the mix. Nothing is too piled or too over the top, but it's really unique and cool. I feel like maybe even, go with me here, a little bit of the inspiration from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead when she was starting to dress you know, chic for the office. There's something about that that feels a little bit connected to this with tights and then interesting shoes, like the black suede shoes with the black tights and then these really great skirts with wrapped shirts and just one big bead. It just feels like maybe corporate 90s power dressing with some pops of color and some interesting athleisure thrown in there, not athleisure, but athletic wear. It's like zipped up tight track jackets underneath cardigans, underneath sweater vests with really great kind of the tapered pant. And I don't know, I just loved this collection. So this was a huge inspiration for me as I went thrifting. So these are the three different designers that I chose to be inspired by and head to the thrift store. We're gonna go to the thrift store it was an amazing day, I have to tell you. I 
you know, you just have those days that are so exciting. And this was definitely one of those amazing, exciting thrift days. So you're gonna come with me to the thrift store. We're gonna come back here to the styling studio and I'm gonna dress up three looks inspired by the three different designers and the three different collections that we talked about. just to get it in my head before I start to look. This is the most perfect beret for the Ralph Lauren collection. Based off the Tory Burch collection that I'm taking inspiration from, I found this Dana Buckman jacket that actually reminds me a lot of this blue one here. It has more of a rounded shoulder detail, which I love. And it's that similar fabric, a little bit lighter, but I want to kind of see how this looks on, but it's definitely very much the idea. leather it looks very much like something we'd see on Don and Karen's runway also as well as Ralph Lauren. This is really fun this is old Windsor I don't think it necessarily goes in this collection but I wanted to share with it. Definitely a fun find. Oh I'm so excited about this. This is perfect for the Ralph Lauren collection. that idea. I'm not totally sure about this, but this is vintage Jean-Pierre. Uh, and it's very cropped and it's got this really good embellishment on it, which is fun. I could see that a little bit in the Ralph Lauren collection. I feel like it wouldn't be that color. It might be more red. This I found, I really love it. It's oversized, limited, like a large um, round and you know, a long sleeve tee sweater knit. Definitely reminds me of something Donna Karen would have, like very drapey with some like chic black trousers or something like that. And then there were some really cute sweater vests in the Tory Burch collection. I, this is a little bit bigger than um, the style she showed, but I love that. I popped into skirts now and I found this skirt. This totally, I could see actually with that brown oversized knit um, with this skirt. Very Donna Karen with some brown boots. Also found this really great wool pleated skirt. Very chic, very Ralph Lauren. I love this skirt. This totally looks like something that would be in Tory Burch's collection. This color, even this kind of fabrication. I love it. I just went through all the pants. I only found one pair. These are Paris Wallace and their pinstripe navy, which would be perfect for some Ralph Lauren magic. I don't know if they're going to fit, but I'm going to put it in my cart. I just found these shoes. They remind me so much of some of the weird shoes that Tori Burch had in their collection. I really love these, especially with like tights and socks. This also reminds me of some of the jackets that Tori Burch had in her collection. I love this cropped white jacket. It actually reminds me when Ralph Lauren does black and white. It's always like very fabulous. And I can see this with some black like silk trousers, chic hair, even a beret. That would be amazing. And then I found this a bodysuit kind of 
jacket situation, and this reminded me a lot of Dinah Karen and how she would style up like super chic and slinky with some gold accessories and a sleek bun. I have a very full cart. I'm going to go through. I'm definitely not getting all of this, but I'm going to go through and try on a few of the items that I feel like I want to bring back to style up some of these looks, and I'll share them with you. Starting off with this jacket, it really does look like the blue jacket in the collection, even kind of having this asymmetric button. And the button detail is really cool. I have that other one, so I want to kind of decide. I don't know if I like this color as much. It's a little muted. Here's those shoes. I love them so much. They're like very 90s and very Tory Burch. I actually like this even more than I thought I would. Definitely hitting on that Ralph Lauren black and white tuxedo dressing that he does, but also just in general, I love this. I love this neckline and that it's shrunken and then you can just wear like some high waist options with it. So this is probably a yes. This is amazing. This could be Ralph Lauren. This could also be Tory Burch but it's just like a really great vintage sweater vest. Love this color. I'm in love with this. I uh, definitely could see this in Ralph Lauren or just hanging in my closet because it's so cozy. I feel like I'm always looking for a great throw on cardigan that just is your layer when it's cold and you don't even have to worry if it works or not because it just kind of looks great. And also that it's really cozy and that's exactly what this is. I love these kind of exaggerated sleeves, these big pockets here, just even the neckline is so chic, so I'm a big, big fan. This is so the Ralph Lauren collection, so <laughs> great and novelty. I like the back too. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think I'll get it for styling and then who knows, maybe I'll end up in my whatnot sale. I could definitely see this in Donna Karen and also Ralph Lauren. Actually, kind of even more Donna Karen because it has like the very sleek lines. I don't think I'm going to bring this back because I don't necessarily feel like I need it, but this idea is perfect. And here's the other one that looks like the Tory Burch collection. This color was in the collection as well. And it's just kind of great. I'm not sure what what it's all gonna come down to, but I do really like this, and this really has that kind of chic, minimalist, 90s with like artistic flair. Here's that sweater. It's very, very cool. Like it can be styled a lot of ways, like off the shoulder, one shoulder, like a big neck, slouchy, tucked in. I feel like you could play with this a lot. And I don't know, I mean, this really could go Donna Karen, Tory Burch but it's very fun. I love this so much. This is old limited. I remember wearing these in the 90s, but it's just like the perfect knit, cozy piece. Again, 90s minimalism, perfection. Donna Karen, here we come. Here's the skirt, so perfect. I mean, also Ralph Lauren, totally, and Donna Karen, either one. I love it. This skirt is so perfectly Tory. These shoes with some black tights and then like a bold color top, some of her like draping, something really tight to kind of show off the waistline, but this is amazing. Also, this just looks exactly kind of that idea. And I love it paired with this skirt. I mean, you can't see off the great waistline, but it's very much kind of the minimalist art that we saw on the runway. Here's the pinstripe pants. They're very short. I think they're probably tailored. I don't know, and I feel like I've been getting a lot of these style pants lately, and these aren't in the greatest condition, so I think I'm just gonna pass. I love this. It feels very Ralph Lauren country. Also, I just wanna wear it because it's so cozy. It's um, corduroy too. Very Ralph Lauren, found this in the men's section just a second ago. And it's longer, which I think if I kept it for myself, I would maybe crop it, but it's perfect. Perfect beret, Ralph Lauren, so cute. Love the red and the plaid, love anything like this. I also found this belt, which is more low waist. 
but it feels very Ralph Lauren and I feel like that could be kind of cool. I have turned everything on and I am bringing home so many things. I am not getting this one, I'm getting the blue one. I feel like this isn't the vibe as much as the other one is. And then this is so great, but I think the zipper throws me off. If it had buttons, I would say yes. Ugh, it's just so much fun. It really is like perfect. I think if it was also more like wooly and thick and not like thin knit and with a zipper. The zipper, I just am not a zipper fan with this kind of stuff. I just had a little swoony moment. I was walking out and I just found this Adolfo blazer jacket. Oh, look at the dolman sleeve. Like scrunched up. Even just with my outfit right now. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. That was a really good day at Savers! Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go home, get in my closet, and style up some looks. Thrifting the runway inspired by all these classic New York designers. The Tori Burch look, I loved all of her runway moments with skirts, that kind of shiny fabric, the wrapped shirts, and the shoes just really spoke to me. So I could not believe I found these amazing black shoes with this silver detail. It felt very much in line with what was happening on her runway show. And then this cobalt blue, really high waist skirt just felt like something she already had in the collection. I pulled out a chocolate brown wrap shirt that I had in my closet and I paired it with the amazing coat that I had found at Savers as well. For just some little details, I did a split middle ponytail and then some big silver statement earrings to play off the silver in the shoes, but I feel very Tory Burch, New York state of mind. For the Donna Karen look, I wanted to embrace all of the feminine chic power dressing that Donna Karen was known for. So I went with these really amazing chocolate brown legging pants that I had found at Savers a few weeks ago. I paired them with that incredible cream off the shoulder sweater that I knew had to be a Donna Karen moment. It felt so fabulous, darling. And then I paired it with some knee high chocolate brown boots and just some chic and simple statement gaudy gold earrings to finish off the look. I never knew I needed to have this full Donna Karen moment. For the Ralph Lauren look, I embraced everything that was on the 2018 runway show. I loved the idea of pairing some classic chino pants with that amazing rugby shirt that I found at Savers. I love how they took rugby shirts and then threw knit sweater vests over top and I grabbed out a classic 1970s prep school knit from my closet and I paired it with this oversized yummy brown leather jacket that's become a staple this fall for me. I also thought it would be fun to take the leather multicolored belt that I found and throw it around the waist of the knit vest. I finished off the look with some cowboy boots to really add the Ralph Lauren magic and I feel ready for a weekend in the mountains or hopping in my Jeep and going exploring. is it that is thrifting the runway styling up three incredible new york designers i'm so excited to go to new york and i'm kind of paying homage to all of these amazing designers that inspire me all the time so dressing up donna karen ralph lauren and tori birch and i really kind of can't believe what i found in the thrift store and how perfectly and easily they transitioned into outfits inspired by these designers i also Got some more really incredible things that I'm for sure bringing to New York, especially that Adolfo coat. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Love it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today. You can give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And make sure to tune in for the Whatnot sale on November 30th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to click the link down below. Get your $15 off your first purchase on whatnot and I will see you there on November 30th and finally always play dress up and I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>